In today's Clash Royale video, we are trying to improve with the Remy Alley deck. This deck hopefully will be my main deck this Clash Royale season. So it's my job to get better with this deck. Really, really cheap cycle. I mean, Remy Alley is so good with also Mo Light is currently number one in the world. So we are trying to also get the spot. If you guys enjoy my content, make sure to subscribe and also make sure to use creator code mod in the shop. And I would say let's dive jump into the games and let's destroy our opponents. So guys, first game here up versus Knobble Boy. Um, so I'm just gonna go for the Valk here. He just locks this side. And I'm just gonna go in for the skeletons. Okay. Hmm. I'm just gonna kinda wait for something like a Valkyrie so I can get an easy minor value. Perfect. <laughs> this is what I wanna see. Look at the miner, just getting so, so much chip. I'm just gonna draw my magic archer. Yeah, I feel like. I'm like good with this deck, maybe like top 50 in the world with this deck, but I want to get like top 10, top 3. Maybe like on a level as Remy Alley will be hard in one season, but I'm just gonna want to try to get as good as I can. And just also wrote for myself, like getting fun, like, like having more fun in the game. While backs or like while getting bad with a deck, which I'm not really too good normally. I'm just gonna go for mine in the back. I know his Nado's out of psych, but even if he cycles back to another Miner, it's completely fine. Uh, to another Nado, which he does. I can just go in for the Matching Arch here, trying to get some extra chip. He decides to drop this, which is okay. I don't know. I think I couldn't have Nado that, so I didn't go for a Tornado there. Maybe I should have. Uh, that was not optimal played. He also got the early Nado activation. But I still think it's a-okay. I still think it's not too bad. I know Matching Arch and Nado is undefendable, similar to Golden Knight, so... I'm not really panicking. I'm not really panicking here. At least not yet, man. Like, if the rockets are flying, also Rocket Nerf for sure is helping us in this type of matchup. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm just gonna go and form my skeletons here. I need to go Magic Archer just to make sure it's not gonna connect at all. I can just go and form Miner here. I'm also gonna go for Wall Break. I'm also gonna go for really aggressive Lock here. He goes in for this, this, so. We still got some decent amount of damage. I'm just gonna go for the Valk here. If he decides to go in for his... Okay. I was gonna say like for his rocket. Tornado's coming down. Let's go. Great Tornado. Hmm. Okay. Okay, that's fine. We get some decent amount of value. I'm just gonna go for a Valk here. I think I need my Nado on offense. While I'm having it on defense. That's at least a plan. Great the Magic Archer. Let's go! Oh, the Magic Archer! Dodge the Tornado! So, so much damage. Let's go. I'm just gonna go for another Miner here. He doesn't have anything to catch, to catch the Miner, right? He just goes in for a really bad Ice Bird. And we're looking good. I'm just gonna go for Valkai so he's not like pulling my knight, uh, pulling my Valk away with a tornado. Okay, interesting. Okay, what is he gonna do now? Please get a connection. Oh, it would have been so cool to get at least one shot on top of the tower. I'm just gonna go bomb tower like this. I'm just gonna go Valk like this. There was a. Annoying shot. Okay, I'm just gonna go for a lock here. He still has a tornado this, so at least like he needs to spend free elixir, which is great. Okay, minor. Wall breaker. Lock. Okay. Hmm. Is he gonna rock it now? What a magic archer! Oh, that was massive! Okay. Magic archer just like this, please. Let's go. One shot, two shots. Yeah! Another Magic Archer shot! Magic Archer's on the tower! Log is coming down! Nado's coming too late! Our Magic Archer plays! We are on 
point and this is the most important thing about the deck let's go next game up here versus Paneron. so let's see what Paneron is coming up to i'm just gonna go for the minor and this might be a surprising match actually also 12 people don't expect me to use this deck so if you play against Remy early, most of the time you're at least like covering or like predicting the Magic Arch at the bridge, but yeah, this is what people are not gonna do because they don't expect me to play this type of deck. So I'm just gonna go for a Tornado here, perfect Tornado. And also, what is Remy Ellie so good about? It's first of all... Oh! <laughs> okay, I'm gonna see you in the next game. Next game up here versus Novak. And so I watched it, like, I was just bringing up the point before the opponent gave up. What makes Remy Ali so much better than everyone with this deck? It's just like a magic arch play. He knows when to be aggressive and he's kind of predicting the opponent because you always need to be afraid of the magic arch to the bridge. So you need to predict that. And what Remy makes really, really, or like why Remy is the best, con uh, considered to be the best minor world breaker player with this type of variation is that he's always predicting what the opponent's gonna do. When he's gonna predict his prediction, when the opponent is gonna predict the magic archer, he knows when the opponent is doing it and uh, um, and he knows when the opponent is not doing it. It's just like the pure experience which Remy for sure has with this type of deck. Um, I'm just gonna go for the lock here. I'm just gonna go for the skeleton surround now. And I'm just gonna go for the Valk because I could imagine him zapping this. Okay, he didn't even need to zap because the Goblin Giant is broken, but now we got a decent amount of counter push. He doesn't really have anything against that, so we do get a ton of value with the Wall Breaker here. If he decides to go Evox at the bridge, I need to go Bomb Tower. I just hope the Bomb Tower putting in a good amount of work here. Okay, just need to wait and chill. Now I'm just gonna go for Lock. Mm. The Rage kind of costed us a ton of damage, but I still think we can win this one. He doesn't have anything against our Magic Archer, but for sure the problem for us is... Um, <clears throat> I'm a bit sick, so I apologize, guys, if my voice sounds a bit different. Is that he's overwhelming us with his ton of troops, so I kind of need to be careful there. I guess I'm just going to go for my Magic Archer in the back now. And I'm just going to go for Magic Archer like this. I'm just going to go Skeleton, so I'm just going to Valk there. So... For sure, I want to go for Tornado here, just to make sure... We just take one shot. And now I'm just gonna go for Wall Break at the bridge and let's see how he's gonna respond to them. He has a Mother Witch, okay. But the Mother Witch doesn't do anything! I can just go for a Lock here. The Lock makes sure we're gonna get a ton of value here. The Magic Archer's on the tower. I can just go in for my Magic Archer here. And the cycle is so, so cheap. And we are doing a ton of damage here. So, Bomb Tower's coming down. Mm -mm hmm. Okay, he still decides to defend this. I don't really get this, to be fair. I'm just gonna go for skeletons here. Okay, I'm just gonna go for my wall breaker. Why well, I'm gonna go wall breaker here? Pretty simple, just to distract this. That my Valkyrie does get even more value. I'm just gonna go for the magic arch here. Here. Okay, I'm just gonna go skeletons. Okay. He still decides to defend this. I don't really get this, to be fair. This didn't really work out as I wanted it to work, so EBAPs are just absolutely crushing my tower here. I'm just gonna go for Miner now. He won't he won't catch my Miner, he knows that, so... I'm just gonna go for Valk in front here. I'm just gonna go for a Tornado, pull that into the Magic Arch and also into the Valk. I'm just gonna go for a Lock here, hopefully making sure that the Sparky dies, that it would be absolutely incredible. Okay, I'm just gonna go for Skeleton's High here. What a game so far, guys. I'm just gonna go for my... <coughs> boys here. My wall boys. And I guess I'm just gonna go for Miner now. Bomb Tower just like this. And pretty solid defense so far, guys. We're doing a really great job. And hopefully continue playing like that. That would be at least my dream. Okay, Magic Archer doesn't survive, which is unfortunate. That is all, all for a massive log value. I'm just gonna go in for my skeletons here. Magic Archer targets the Sparky, which is important. It doesn't target the Sparky anymore. I'm just gonna go in for a tornado here. I'm just gonna go for my lock now. Mm, skeletons here. Wall breaker just like this. Hmm. We are still alive, guys. 
but it will be it won't be an easy game but what did i expect man what did i did i expect i'm just gonna go for a tornado i'm just gonna go for triple magic archer please triple magic archer make sure to kill all the stuff walk here I'm just gonna go for a tornado here. Great tornado, triple magic archer, putting in the work. I'm just gonna go for the bomb tower here, and it's just about defending. 13 more seconds. I'm just gonna go for the skeleton high here. I'm just gonna go for the Valk, and now it's just about a really insane tornado. Pull everything back. Just gonna play my wall brigade to distract. Just gonna go for the log. Perfect game, perfect defense. Let's go. Next game up here with this Matt. Good luck to Matt. Okay, I'm just gonna go for my magic archer in the back. This is. This all starting play and he just drops his He just drops his golden knight. So I guess I'm just gonna go miner here and I'm just gonna go wallies because I think this is going to be an E giant player, so at least needs to respond to it. He goes in for a tornado, so at least him having a tornado auto cycle shouldn't be too bad. As long as the golden knight doesn't connect to my tower. What he shouldn't, hopefully, from this positioning. <laughs> but you never know. It's it's still Golden Knight. So I saw Remy like doing absolutely crazy defense against this type of deck. Okay, I'm just gonna go for the Magic Archer here to kill the Fire Spirit and also make sure to take care of the cannon. Okay. Miner is tanking. Let's go. Okay, I'm also gonna go for the World Breaker here. I don't know. Oh, he messed it up. That was... Not too great. I'm just gonna go for Valk. Also, Remy really tries to activate King to as early as he can. Like, just with this deck, without having a big spell, it's pretty important to at least get to all of your free King Towers helping you to kind of making sure to get uh, away from the disadvantage of the, um, yeah, without having that you're not playing with a big spell, pretty obviously. So, we got some decent amount of damage. I guess I'm just gonna go for the Magic Archer here. I can play my Bomb Tower like this, 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 this. Like, Bomb Tower is like really solid against that. I guess I'm just gonna go for minor plus skeletons here. Let's see. Go some for a cannon, okay. I'm just gonna go for the bomb toy. I think the magic archer should be out of range of the lightning. I mean it would be it would be really surprising for me if it would be in range. So he does not lightning it, so it seems like it was a perfect bomb tower placement. I'm just gonna go for wall breaker on the left. He drops a fire spirit. Fire spirit is not e uh, enough alone. So I'm just gonna set up this. I'm just gonna set up skeletons. Because he could play the cannon. But he does not. Okay. I guess I'm just gonna go Valk here. Is he gonna lightning this? No, he does not. So I'm just gonna go for my wall breaker here just to kite this. Let's go. Good kite. I'm just gonna go skeletons here. Making sure to kill that. And I'm just gonna play another Valkyrie here, I guess. No, I'm just gonna go Bomb Tower. Great Bomb Tower. He won't lightning this anyway, I think. And so far, we are flawless. So far, we are flawless. I'm just gonna go for the Magic Archer in the back. And so, yeah, so far, we're doing a great job also, like, cleaning up the defense, but also always getting some chip damage on offense. I'm just gonna go for the wall breaker here. Wall breaker will take care of the cannon. Also, the miner is gonna get some decent damage, but we always need to be careful about his golden knight for sure. Golden knight is absolutely incredible. This might be a lighting opportunity for him. Let's see if he takes that. Seems like he does not. I'm just gonna go for the miner here. I honestly don't care about the magic archer there. Magic archer can die, it's completely fine for me. The only really annoying thing would be now if the Golden Knight goes behind the E-Giant, but it does not, so... That's what I'm gonna like to see. I'm just gonna go for this. Okay, that was important. Skeletons. Another Valkyrie. Bomb tower like this, just to make sure to kite it as fast as as, as long as yeah. Uh, how, uh, uh, what is the word? I can't really talk. I'm so focused. Um, maximum uh, length away. That's so bad English, but I think you guys know what I want to say. 
as far as as far away as possible this is what this is where the words i was looking for okay perfect i'm just gonna go for the miner now miner is coming down getting some decent amount of chip also my dream would be if my magic archer can survive here and it looks like they can i'm just gonna go for the lock here perfect lock i'm just gonna go and for my miner here on top of the safe spot i'm just gonna respond with a bomb tow here minor warbreak is coming down he needs to defend that he can't really defend that and we are winning this one really really absolutely insane video every single game was a win i hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure to subscribe to the channel to never miss any content just like that and i would say i'm out thanks for watching guys and all of you goodbye